Actually, this is a loading screen. Um, and we need a GP38 background. Boom, back to the GP38. So we're in the GP38. Let's just have a quick look at the map. So this is the map. So you pretty much ignore the main line. That's not what this route is about. This route is about all of this stuff here. TBAAC, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So this scenario, you have a receiving yard out um, on or a uh, dispatch yard here, and then you've got the uh, the, the head uh, shunt there. You've got a little industry round here. Another one here. You've then got one of the main, one of the two yards here, with a couple of um, junctions and so forth. Another industry here, and then you've got the other yard here. The paper mill is old. Paper factory is over here. So we're going to be visiting pretty much everywhere on the yard, uh, in the yard for this scenario. So the objective for this scenario is to um, is to collect some of the wagons and bring them round to drop them off over here. It's just a marshal, so we can kind of do it however we want. Um, however, that's fine. So I'm going to come forward to the switchback. Sug draw, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Actually, I'm going to run this without the headlights on because it seems the, the lights seem to wash out all of the colour on everything. Yeah, so this route is not your epic long journey. It's actually based on the time saver um, yard sim. So remember, I did the uh, shunting puzzles um, special where I talked about the, um, how you could design each of the uh, shunting puzzles. Well, um, this is based on two time saver yards essentially. The scenario is mine, that, um, so ignore that. Um, basically, this is just a scenario to help us look at the route. I won't bring the map up because the map is uh, ploughing fields at the moment because this is a fictional route. Right, so we're going to bring this round here and then we're going to go and get this one up here. Uh, Ryuta, how do you make the 2D maps in different colours? Uh, the route author can change the colours in... There's a blueprint that specifies the colours for the map, the background colour, track colour, switch colours, all that stuff. Um, but it's done by the root author. Twenty one hundred followers. Thank you everybody. That's awesome. Right. Now we need to come up here. So I've dotted the yards uh, the, the all over this wagon. What's my hands-free viewer called, Score Creek Gaming? Do you mean track IR, the thing that's making the cab do this? Uh, if you do, that's called track IR. If you don't, then what do you mean? <laughs> I love the way that um, Great Northern has used some of these buildings. This sort of looks really closed in and detail. Yeah, this is track IR. So I've got uh, this dongle thing up here. Uh, there's then a camera faced on the uh, on on the top of the uh, on the top of the monitor, which is looking at it, and it just works out from there what my head is doing. So it'll do left, right, whatever you want. Um, there is also a um, a video on my YouTube channel which talks about track IR. Um, that's why I didn't do a 2000 Twitch special, unfortunately. I haven't had the time to sort something out. Do I actually test out new routes that people have made, um, Track Lover? Um, occasionally. Um, very rarely, to be honest. Uh, 
Oh, Frisco, that was a good point. I should have used the new wagon pack, shouldn't I? Never mind. I will try and uh, organise a uh, look at the new wagon packs tomorrow, okay? Darkness, can you make a hole in the middle of the schedule tomorrow? And um, uh, that will remind me then to fill it with a uh, sort of a 15, 20 minute... Um, thing on the... Um, on those wagons. Ryuto official is a tutorial on what do you need what do you want a tutorial on Ryuto? Completely lost the thread of a conversation. <laughs> right, we're going backwards now. We're gonna drop this this wagon off out near the front. Uh, train lover, do you need to use track IR5 or 3? Well, if you buy track IR5, it actually comes with the baseball hat clip and this thing as well. Um, uh, if you use track IR4, it comes with the baseball clip and you can buy the pro clip for it. Track IR3, I don't know anything about 3. I've seen um, four on some good discounts actually because it's the old one. Five is faster and smoother. Oh, the colours on the 2D map. Sorry, Rio2 right, official. I, I will have a look and see what I can do, yeah. Right, now, before we get there, I want to change it and come up this way. So what we're going to do is drop the wagons into this line over here. System blueprint, that's the one, Steve. So change that point and that point and then we can drop the wagon in that line there. Right, so we'll deposit that that wagon there. Oh, uh, clearance is a bit of an issue there. Never mind. Pull back. Whoops. Not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, Fringe style, and I have got it on my list to do something on room markers, yes. Alright, so, um, I'm going to come up here, I'm not going to go in there because I want to come here and get these two wagons next. So there's a couple of cabooses tucked in that siding over there. We're going to go and get them in a minute. Ch 
change that point and go get those two wagons, boxcars. Can route markers be used in workshop routes? No, they can't. You can't put custom work uh, markers on a workshop route. You can't upload the markers, but you can create them for yourself. You, they just, you just can't upload them. Or can you? It may be that you can't use them because it needs to be added into a blueprint somewhere. I can't remember. Uh, but bottom line is you can't. You certainly can't upload them because they need to go into a custom asset folder, which is the uh, the big thing you can't do with the workshop route. So this is Atlantic Bay Terminal. It's a new fictional route that's been released by Great Northerner recently on Steam Workshop. Uh, Great Northerner, I think, also did the uh, St. Augustine. No, copper on our route markers. Is, as so, if, if you mean track markers, then yes, route markers are the ones where you can jump. They're like jump two coordinates. All right, we've got the wagons. Let's move forward. Right, now having got these, I'm going to go back and get the next, um, I think there's one wagon we've got to get from an industry just around the corner there. I'm going to get snugly into this siding. In, we're in. If I now reverse this back out to here and change to that one, we'll go and get these from the gas and light company. Already wondered, always wondered what would be the use of workshop if you couldn't use markers on the track. Yeah, but you can certainly use markers on the track. Alright, there's a five mile per hour speed limit in here, so I'm going to slow down for that. There's our wagon just over there. Thanks for the host, Rubku. Play Tree Fog says it's a very lived in looking route. That's one of the things that really struck me when I saw it is just this looks like an old uh, a you know, old railway. An old town even. Cheers, Adama. Right, we've got that wagon. We're going to go and deposit these. Still in a five five limit until we clear the um, the uh, crossing.
Right, where are we going? We're going to come around here and we're going to come in and push the wagons back onto there. Briscoe was going to release a teaser of the Jurassic World Railroad but lost the route when my game crashed making the scenario. Backups. Backups are very important. Right, we've got a 15 limit now. Let's speed up a bit. We've got one more cut of wagons and then we can run them round to the front. Adam Gamer says I need to put the beacon on. I don't know how to put the beacon on. <laughs> I did wonder about that, but yeah, I don't know how to put the beacon on. Putting the bell on doesn't seem to do it. Yeah. Putting the bell on doesn't seem to do it. Right, change that track and then we'll push these ones back up to the other wagon. L. No. Uh. JJ, no, I'm not using SSAA, and I'm not using the latest NVIDIA driver. After uh, numerous people reported problems with it, I opted not to take the latest upgrade. To be honest, I usually run a bit behind on NVIDIA drivers, just because, it. to be honest, if it isn't broke, I don't see the point in changing it, and my game, my system runs really well. Um, if I was to upgrade to a new graphics card, which you can't do on a laptop anyway, then uh, it would be different, but... This guy, this machine's running very well, so I thought I'm gonna just leave it. Right, now we've got to go back to the paper factory, and um, we have a Metallica. What's the problem? Um, it's the map goes all blurry. Um, bits get left behind. It was. It's been caused by a late by an update to the Nvidia drivers. Uh, come on, are we there? No. Just want to get these wagons up here. Right. Let's go for a run to the other yard. Good night, Steve. Twenty mile per hour speed limit until we get to the other yard is fifteen within the limit. Fringe Stalin, uh I don't know. You said West Coast Mainline earlier on. Uh, London to Birmingham. Right, we're coming up into the paper mill. Let's drop the speed bound to the yard limit of 15. You're going to go London to Liverpool. Why not, for instance? <laughs>
Right, we're going to go and get these uh, pipe wagons over here. Because this is a martial scenario, you can solve this however you want to, really. I'm doing it this particular way, but uh, there are other ways of doing it, I'm sure. Good night, Granite's Folly! What's my favourite station in London, Mr. A320 Master? It's a good question. I mean, Liverpool Street is where I've spent more time in any station than in any other. So, I like, I do like Liverpool Street. Right, so we're going to bring this one forward, run it round, put it on the other side of the uh, wagon train, and then we'll run round it, and then we'll bring it, uh, drag it, and push it into the uh, into the uh, the uh, dispatch siding. Oh, you went to Liverpool Street, 320 Master. Excellent. Yeah, I used to commute to Liverpool. I uh, used to commute to Liverpool. I used to commute to uh, into London via Liverpool Street. Wolski 1990. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Adam Gamer. This scenario doesn't have much left now. We're nearly finished. Basically, this is the last two wagons. Uh, we stick them on, run round, and then we take it into the uh, dispatch, the Araya dispatch sidings, just out the other side, uh, and then we'll move on to the next scenario. Got to put them on the other side. How big is this route? I'm trying. To, it's not very big. It's basically you've seen all of the route now, pretty much. It's a sort of a small, hyper-detailed um, shunting, sort of switching uh, yard. Do I ever go rail fanning in real life? Not particularly. I do sometimes, but to be, I used to go all the time. But um, I actually find in a lot of cases that uh, it's pretty dull and boring now compared to how it used to be. Everything looks the same, and because of multiple units being much more efficient, which is great, they're also really dull to watch. Whereas a bit of loco hauled action, now that's what I'm up for. But that just doesn't happen anymore. Trains go in, trains go out. And then of course when you're on platforms, everyone, all the platform station people getting uh, nervous because they think that uh, you're a terrorist or something. Frisco, dull and boring, why do you play this game? Um, I don't see how the two are related. I didn't say all trains are boring. I said that uh, train spotting in the UK, where all the trains look the same, is, is a bit boring. Right. Now I need to clear the switch. Oh, actually, I went, last time I went to um, Knoxville, Tennessee, um, I went out three or four times doing rail fanning, and it was awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right. We have cleared this siding, and I'm going to uncouple that.
Yeah, I'm sure on the main lines actually it'd be better, um, but certainly around here, it's uh, there's a limited selection to spot. <laughs> All right, now we've changed the line, we can go back. Couple up to the front and drag these wagons round to the uh, the siding. I really like this route. Really, really nice. Oh, Doncaster would be a good place to train spot, I imagine. Right, switch the line over, couple up. We'll need to push them forward a little bit to clear the switch because we've got to come back up the other side of the yard of the engine sidings. So you can find this route on Steam Workshop. It has a few dependencies, not too many I don't think. Um, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, Atlantic Bay Terminal. Right, let's get that handbrake off and then we'll get moving. So I need to clear this switch here. I also need to reset that switch. And then we can get on our way. It's just a short journey out to the out outside of the yard. Radio 2 official got the Liverpool-Manchester line. Yes, it is. Uh, the, the, like as I've said a few times, actually, Liverpool-Manchester is one of those routes that kind of took me by surprise. It really... Uh, I wasn't expecting that, and I uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy driving it. It even got two thoroughlys. That's just how thoroughly. Right, we're on our way now. Nice Frisco. Fringe styling, uh, why not? It's, e it's always easier to start, there's the sidings over there, look. It's always easier to extend the route than to start from scratch. Twenty one oh one sub pipe. Woo -hoo. <laughs> so that's the main line over there. We're just going to deposit these wagons in the siding and then go and put our loco away, and then we'll get on with the next scenario. 
switch the switch, because that's what you do with switches. The class 390 and the class 801, or 800 slash 1. Don't know, never been on one. I would have high expectations for the 800, but without having been on both, I don't know. Right, so this is the arrival siding. This is where we're going to drop this uh, this off to. Uh, train lover, apologies. I will try and get that sorted for you tomorrow. Typical 15 as soon as we get out of the yard. Which one looks nicer and has more character? I don't know. I mean, the uh, I think I mean I've always liked the shape of the Pendolino. I think the Pendolino is awesome. So, deposit these wagons here, and that's this bit done. Now we've got to go to the engine shed. Which is just basically where we started. this round. Okay, that gets us back into the yard. Ralph Fanning stories. None that I can remember. Used to really enjoy going train spotting. Um, I think it was twice that we went train spotting. We did a tour through uh, all the London terminus stations. And the first time we went round was just amazing. Really, really good day. The second time we went down, most of the locomotive hauled stock had gone, and it was mostly multiple units. And Every, everyone that went with us all pretty much agreed it was uh, not a patch on the previous day because uh, there wasn't much train stuff going on. It was just something would come in, something would go out, and that was it, really. Got to deposit the train over in the little engine shed here, and we are done. Where are we? We are here. 
No, I'm not moving really far enough forward yet. Better. And then park it up in the engine shed. Triclops SD60M's Norfolk Southern purchased. I didn't realize. No, I didn't realize Norfolk Southern had purchased some Triclops. I know one thing actually. When we did our London tour the first time around, I think the highlight of that tour was when we. So we did all the main stations, and it was sort of like a. Well, you know, we're here. What haven't we done? And we realized we hadn't been to Maryland. I think it was, no, no, it wasn't Maryland. Marylebone Station. And we were like, well, it's a tiny little station compared to the other ones we've been. But let's just go since it's just a question of going there. So we did. And then 15 Salamiel was sitting in there. Lovely steam engine. So that was the highlight of the whole trip. And it's the one station we, didn't, we almost didn't bother going to. Right. And that was that. So that is uh, Atlantic Bay Terminal with a little switching scenario I wrote in about 20 minutes <laughs> for the string. Oh wow, that's an end Norfolk Southern Triclops. That's interesting. Are we done? Ah, we're done. Super. Right, now, scenario number four. Uh, that one. Uh, yeah, I saw the link for a scope. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, back and forth. 